Module 1 Introduction and Fundamentals of Structured Finance Before we start, let us ask you, what do you think of structured finance? What could it possibly be? If we dissect the term into two words, then structured refers to something that is organized and arranged properly, and finance, well, it simply refers to the money required and any activity that includes a monetary element. So, does it simply mean a properly organized monetary operation or financial activity? Actually, that's one way to put it, but in the real world, it has a lot more meaning, scope, and importance than it looks like. In a financial market, different products are bought and sold every day by hundreds and thousands of investors, traders, financial entities, banks, government, and technical people. Everyone who is a part of the financial. Market plays their role in making the product reach from point A to point B. But then, how are these financial products cultivated, especially when we talk about big corporations that have a particular requirement of funds, capital, and need to tend to major financial issues? So, we say, again, let us start with the definition. Structured finance refers to the provision and design of financial products and services to meet complex financial requirements. It is usually utilized by large organizations that need to solve complex financial issues that the existing stock of financial instruments cannot meet. It covers an extensive range of products and activities. The technique develops customized products to meet the client's requirements involving funding, risk transfer, liquidity, and so on. If you didn't understand much from the definition, in a nutshell, structured finance is nothing but a technique to create tailor-made financial products. Who needs these financial products? The main consumers of such financial products are large entities with complex financial issues. They are looking to indulge in them because they want customized products that are far different than traditional financial instruments. To give you a small hypothetical example, there are different types of bicycles present in the market. But when it comes to racing, you may need a special type of customized bicycle that can fulfill your requirements for the race. Now, one may argue that you can participate in the race with any old or basic bicycle. Yes, that's true. But it's not just about participating, but winning the race. To win the race, you may need a proper racing bicycle that is lightweight. a gear system, is properly oiled, and is designed in such a way that the structure elevates its speed on the racing track. With that thought, you are now ready to buy it because it satisfies your racing needs. Just like that, structured finance involves designing and delivering sophisticated financial products and services to satisfy complex financial requirements. But whenever we are to discuss structured finance, there is always a mention of corporate finance, which is a totally different concept. But since we are just starting with the course, we would like to get this totally inside your brain as to how both are different from each other. On one end, where structured finance is tailor-made financial products, corporate finance deals with the commercial activities of an entity, including capital funding, investment, dividend, and working capital decision-making. In structured finance, the main products are asset-backed securities and derivatives such as collateralized debt obligations and commercial and residential mortgage-backed securities. That said, corporate finance pertains to bank loans, capital budgeting, bond issuance, dividend programs, and so on. The main objective of structured finance is to satisfy the unique requirements of the borrower, but corporate finance is focused on increasing the shareholder's value. Now. The next question you may have in mind is where do the structured finance products come from? Structured finance products are derived from a pool of assets like loans and bonds involving complex transactions servicing substantial financial needs. They are observed as a powerful option in times of crisis and emergency and for large corporations with significant financial requirements. When a corporation with standard loans fails to cover its financial obligations, such structured finance products come in for their rescue. Still, hey, 
not all lenders and entities are eligible for it. We will talk about that later. First now, let us go through the importance and purpose of structured finance in financial markets. The number one significance of structured finance lies in risk management. Structured finances are designed to create a bundle of financial assets that spread the market risk among themselves. When this happens, no single asset has to bear the burden of overall loss. Hence, the risk factor of defaults and fluctuation is reduced. The second key importance of structured finance is offering Taylor made financial solutions to big corporations. As we discussed, the primary aspect of why big corporations turn to structured finance is because of its customized services that are not just better than traditional financing methods, but also fulfill the financing requirements of businesses and meet their risk and return expectations. Okay, the third important element is cash flow optimization. With structured finance, companies repackage and restructure their cash flows from the underlying assets and align them with various preferences and investment methods. Moving on, we have funding access at number four in the importance of structured finance. With diverse assets like auto loans, mortgages, corporate debts, and other forms of funding, businesses expand on accessibility. The last one is diversification. This one goes without saying, as structured finance offers a wide array of asset classes, corporations use them to reduce risk, improve portfolio performance, and diversify their assets appropriately. With this, let's jump into understanding the relevance and objectives of structured finance. As we already said, not everyone is eligible for such structured finance products. So, for a commoner, its relevance may be negligible or tiny. Still, for big corporations, it is highly relevant and serves many key objectives. The most common type of structured finance is project finance. When we talk about big companies' big projects, they have a ton of capital investment requirements with the involvement of government authorities. Such projects are long-term and have a big industrial and infrastructure impact on the whole economy. These projects cannot be covered through traditional financial methods, so structured finance is the tool for it. The second type of objective that structured finance serves is leveraged finance. This helps in using the cash flow value of an asset to be utilized as secure debt. This allows companies to manage their cash flow most efficiently. The third objective served through structured finance is export credit agency finance. This agency acts as a bridge between the exporters and governments to offer credit insurance and financial guarantees to boost exports by domestic companies. This leaves us with the last one, which is structured trade finance. It falls under a specialized form of financing, such as used mainly for commodity trading of large quantities or high-value products. Okay, then I guess we should now briefly go through the key players in structured finance. The first one is the originators. Yes, you guessed it right. These are the big banks that pool loans that are backed by assets and sell them in the capital markets. We will be discussing each type of structured finance product in our next module. For now, let's move on to the next key player in structured finance. If banks are the first key players creating asset-backed securities and selling them in the capital markets, then who do they sell these to? Again, you guessed it right, of course, the investors. In structured finance, investors are mainly large businesses and multinational corporations. These structured products help companies by providing well-devised risk management and satisfying all the financial requirements that we have discussed already, like cash flow optimization diversification, fund accessibility, and leveraged finance. This brings us to the third and last player of structured finance, and it is the special purpose vehicles. These are also known as special purpose entities created by a parent company to mitigate and isolate its financial risk since the entity is given the legal status of a separate company, even if the parent company defaults and goes bankrupt. All right then, this is where we end our first module. 
the next chapter is focused on the different types of structured finance products. Let us start understanding them one by one.